Hello friends, it's me, and today season 2, episode 1, meet and greet. Say hello. Hello. Let's check out the Pathway Season 2, Episode 1, Meet the Mentees from Skate Singapore. Together, let's go. Mm, let's start. Hello from Singapore, I'm Humdrum Singaporeans, I'm Humdrum. Hello from Singapore, I'm Humdrum Singaporeans, I'm just another average Singaporean. And I sincerely wish to join the Season 4 of the Pathway program, the Streamer Residency program, EXP Camp. Yeah, a lot of names, it does get complicated, doesn't it? I am sorry. Alright, ladies All right. and gentlemen, welcome to yet another year of the Scape Streamer Residency, previously known as Halfway. Scape Esports, Hi, along with other organizing partners, have once again came up with this mentorship program to the streaming community. This program, well, it gives streamers a chance to unleash their hidden potential under the guidance of four really amazing mentors. Out of 100 applicants, only 35 streamers managed to make their way through into the Scape Streamer Residency EXP camp, where they get to net. So 100 people applied and 35 individuals um, got in. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Work with other streamers, discover more about themselves, and of course join in in the exciting activities and challenges just so that they will be able to break themselves out of their shell and be that- Notice that they are wearing masks because this was during- um, This video came out in the year 2020. Oh sorry, what am I saying? 2022. So, um, still global pandemic, COVID-19, sadly. Streamer that they really want to be. In this episode, the organizers are going to select 12 streamers to be mentees in the Scape Streamer Residency Pathway in groups of three, mentored by four amazing mentors once again. So, let us take a look and jump right in and see what they have got to say about these selected mentees. I, I don't think I have any talent, but then I, I can show you this this cute cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that a yeah. tail or is it is that a tail? It's a tail. It's a tail. It's a tail. Oh, I think for chicken is love. I like it that there's a beep language. I think she has grown quite a bit. Her personality was obviously very different from day one, so it's very heartening to see her opening up, and then now she's actually doing pretty okay on her stream and she's striving to do better I can I mean I can see her effort lah. She took down them a lot of notes ah, on that day on the final day or, or rather the three days so I think she probably one of those that show the most growth over the three days. During breaks and all she keeps going around to every different mentor to get more information and after that the camp you look at her streams she's starting to uh, be more active, I would say, as compared to before the camp, uh, looking at her thoughts and all. Uh, the the very fact that people are giving positive remarks, positive feedback, is very encouraging. It shows that she's being dedicated to it, she's hardworking. Uh, three years ago, two years ago. You get the point. Z, X, Y, W, V, N, U, P, N, S, N, R, N, Q. Oh shit, did I forget? <laughs> oh. Oh. Guppy. Uh, where do you see Guppy? Guppy was in uh, Amanda's group, Bing's group. Uh, he seemed the the more extroverted nature guy. I think I, think I saw some potential. Somewhere to be a streamer. I think uh, even even at this point in recording, we, we, see him, we see him trying to collaborate with different people and, and doing some IRL streams outside. We had the uh, open mic seat and the open mic seat was designed in a way where even people that didn't go up we will actually take note because the open mic at the end of the day is to see who has the right discernment to go up on stage. Guppy stood out during the open mic because not because he went up but because there was one part where Sukas actually caught him up and I cannot remember what he said but what he said and stayed on his seat was actually hilarious and I thought that you know for someone who can even command presence in the room without going up for open mic that is a lot of. That's a lot of. That's to me. I can't find the right word, but yeah. Uh, it's interesting how people look around their house when we ask them for their talent. Like, I, I, is their talent like, they're they're like around their house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe props, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Funny, like, like, where's my talent? 
<laughs> our Scarlet, the Smash streamer, she understood that uh, her the nature of her content and her audience was not very local. It it needed a push from the overseas audience, in which which we saw that she doesn't really stream during uh, uh, Southeast Asian timings. She actually streams NA EU timings, which is quite a task to do lah. She stood out very early on because she noticed that I follow her before the camp. So she came to ask me on day one, like she waddled over, then she was like, uh, water, water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Maple Offers, I noticed you you follow me. Like as a viewer, <laughs> what, what can I do better? Nobody really come and talk to us about like us being viewers on their streams, even though we were checking them out and following mm. before that. So quite interesting, lah, quite interesting. And she was the first, one of the first few to really make an impression. She's maybe one of the few, very little, yeah. to have a, a base without a local base. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see how she goes. You are not shy. I, <laughs> I tell you right now, you are not shy. <laughs> I am not I am. shy. Umari. Umari was from uh, Deborah Wolf's Bane with two E's team. Oh man, he's <laughs> pretty funny. He's just a very funny guy. He he doesn't do the most outstanding, hilarious things, but it's the simple things that he do that is hilarious. I, I don't know. He don't need to try hard. Yeah, he, he doesn't don't need, need to try hard. hard. Quite naturally funny. funny. Yeah, that's why he's that's why he's he's Twitch friendly. <laughs> yeah, already at at the first interview, he already left quite an impression. So to see him like continuing and like meeting that expectation mm, during the mm, camp, mm. it's it's mm. a it's one of the criteria. I I mm. thought that yes, okay, this guy can. Yeah. I can speak in the Twitch Stitch voice. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you? And then if you tone it down, it becomes eagle like I'm oh, precious. The camp boys, I didn't have much impression on her, but I think the part where, where I had the most impression on was during the interview. Mm. Yeah, she was very outspoken, she was very friendly and funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she does the accent thing very funny. Arthas mentioned that she's very lively and reminds him of himself. Her <laughs> gameplay level is insane. <laughs> Mm. You guys see her? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah, very yeah, skilled. Yeah, yeah. She's skilled. She's music, skilled. Music games and she's like oh, insane, yeah. man. And uh, mm. she's able to keep up. It's like one of the camp facilities was mentioning how she went to watch Olivia's uh, bots, mm. and she herself got so engrossed in it because she's so excited that her energy transfers. And when even I went to watch after, it was really that high level that I also feel like I want to watch and and I I want to play, but I know I cannot hit that level. That kind mm. of thing. You know, you yes, remind me of uh, Anu. You know, you go to a man, the new high Kang Kuo. Hey, you. Yeah, that's like old generation, way before my generations, and I'm considered old for the new generation. Mm-hmm. You give me the same vibes as him. Jeremy! Jeremy! 8Ys. I want to mention the singing. Oh, the singing. <laughs> the singing left an impression. His post cam streams that made me like, wow, actually this guy, I enjoy sitting in his stream, chatting with him, and he's able to make me want to sit in and listen to his stories. Because the way that he tells his stories is pretty descriptive i like how he tells stories and it makes me it doesn't bore me to death mm. <laughs> that's the thing yeah this this was my this is the proudest moment of of my streaming career that people like my art and they buy just to support me because some buy just to support some buy because well, like, nice art, art. this is mm-hmm. very nice art actually thank you thank you <laughs> lord fairy also now known as Feinini. She was taking on stuff that she was uncomfortable with, heading into new territory, trying out new content, pushing out different ways of engaging people, different ways of showing gratitude to, to, her, her, to her viewers and, and stuff like that. And people were receptive of that. And I think she, she's seen change and there is hope for her to keep pursuing this, this, this journey, lah, being a streamer. Thanks for showing. I, I don't know why, but hearing his remarks 
his feedback is very uplifting. I don't know why, just listening to that particular uh, feedback makes me like, good. the fire in me like burning, it's like passionate burning. Thank you so much, that was a good feedback. Constructive feedback, yeah, that's the word, constructive feedback. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell us what, what goes on in your head. Trust Go to extreme eh, extreme like negative eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Charm cookies from Wolf's Veins. She really debates. I like her thought processes. Uh, her, her stream post cam goes tr down into details, her reflection of cam, and it really shows a lot of in-depth thought, which perhaps is why she was more reserved on the first and second day. Uh, maybe she's you know, been absorbing everything and just uh, seeing how to perform or, or what, what she needs to do. So that day, uh, who was it? Umari and Kapi suddenly showed up on her on her stream mm. and they were all wearing army stuff. So Kapi was wearing his LBV and then Umari was wearing his police uniform. So instead of like, you know, this is my stream, like what the hell you're doing this? Why you're drawing attention for me? She just let them do their thing. Which is like also also another way to to do content lah. Your face is very meme, uh, very easy to meme. Hey, waffles. Hey, hi, bro. I I met him earlier this year, twenty twenty four. So hmm, he's a nice guy, nice guy, tall. I'm taller though. <laughs> joking, joking. So, sorry, don't don't. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Your face yo, yo, is yo, really, <laughs> really, really, your face is very oh, easy yeah. to meme. Waffle! Mm -hmm. Which is a, uh, which is a uh, Sukasa steam? I think there's also like a very fine line between inch and daring. I think he's on the more daring side to be honest. He's able to put himself out uh, and be the humor personified. Uh. In a way, he, what, what he says? Sometimes may not be the finest thing, but he really tries his best. You can see the effort. Where there are some people where when you watch them try too hard, he's like playing with the boundaries of try too hard. <laughs> okay, here's my mic. I'm not changing anything, okay? Yeah, so that, that, that that's one for you. Okay. Okay, that is genuine talent. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, let me just rewatch that again. <laughs> Some people where, when you watch them try too hard, mm -hmm. he's like playing with the boundaries of try too hard. <laughs> okay, here's my mic. I'm not changing anything, okay? Yeah, so that, that, that that's one for you. Okay. Happy do. Uh. I mean, clearly she, she, she has her talents, as we as we know, uh, she's a good singer. She can engage, she can interact. She she can go a little bit meme sometimes, um, which is what we need. And and she's got that type of uh, I guess star personality, so to speak. You no, know, that kind of aura lah, You know, other people part of the program also say, oh, Debbie Debbie's a great great person. I think she takes the effort to network, obviously, and she already has a camera presence that uh, I think many lack and few have in in halfway or rather in exp camp and in the industry in general i think there's a reason why she's already doing well without us the question is whether we can continue to push her further to, to reach that next tier of of success if you will the main thing to take note for her putting her in this program is because we recognize that she is missing that last push to a higher status and i think that this program the mentorship wise would be the perfect platform for her okay i did not learn this part oh my god i can't imagine if people request for this oh don't worry i'll request it during the camp when you dance it in front of everybody <laughs> okay this Tiffany during the camp was obviously a little bit reserved. Uh, she was she was in uh, Elisa's group. From first day, she was she was like very reluctant to show her talent, like for example dancing and stuff like that. But as the time progresses, so on and so forth, myself and, and Kenneth can attest to this. When we were watching her final showcase and she was dancing the way she was dancing, it was exuding confidence and exuding. Uh, 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 showmanship, right? It struck. It struck that oh, wait, wait a minute. Someone like that can be brought out because of the camp or because she was put on the spot 
because she has to do it type of thing. So I I thought she was I thought she was quite fantastic and, and that showed through. And even after the camp, I've seen her streams and stuff like that. I can see her trying to be more engaging, trying to to to, to talk more to her viewers, uh, give more gratitude here and there, play play stuff that that she's able to actually actually engage with her audience. No things like that. I think small little things like that you can see that I feel she will benefit a lot from the pathway program. Yeah. I like his feedback. It's very detailed and it's very how say uplifting, detailed and encouraging. A lot of minor details that most people might miss out, he recognizes and he highlights them. Thank you so much. That was a good feedback. Thank you. Yeah, her content is quite niche lah. Yeah, her content is also pretty niche. She's a comfy streamer as well. It's, I'll put her in the... <laughs> comfy video streamer video. with dancing now. White girl lah. Usually they'll be like, Oh my god! They ran out of my chai latte! <laughs> Uncle Roger, I also can do it if you like it. <laughs> That's my useless talent, excellent. Psychedelic <laughs> dreamer! She's gotta do something about her nickname, uh, do them long. Uh. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> double R? Was it double R? I think she's. I feel bad because if that's too long, Hum Drum Singapore is even longer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The one that was the furthest from her camp self. I agree. From post camp to post camp to pre camp, mm. I guess. Even when we interviewed her, she was quite. Quite meek, uh, right? Yeah, she was. She was. She was. Wasn't very, she like, only did that that three sixty arm oh, twisting. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then to go from that to to streaming in the middle of skate, like semi drunk with semi -drunk. names all over her face. <laughs> I don't know if I can include that, but whatever. I don't know. I I felt like she was the biggest um change out of it. And she kept mentioning that she learned that from Kemla, which is you know a good thing. She was playing very safe during the camp, also like I. Like sure, I see her working together with the team a lot, with Wolf's Bane also. I think she was quite close. She got quite close to Wolf's Bane. And then she she just appears like very quiet. She's not the noisy type. I didn't really notice mm, her much mm. during the camp actually. And then suddenly, boom, after camp, immediately right after the camp, she streams and then she was this loud person yep. outside skate. And the thing and is that she's not even collaborating with her. many times not only collaborating with her own team members, but she's collaborating with people that's not part of her team. And there we go! The organizers have made- Wait a minute. Many times not only collaborating with her own team members, but she's collaborating with people that's not part of her team. This bro is awesome. He actually pay attention to the details. Uh, there's, a, there's a phrase, what is it? Um, the devil is in the details. And he actually recognized Oh, he's collaborating. She's collaborating. Huh. They're a different team. Oh, different team collaboration. Awesome. I really respect this of attention detail. He is incredible in this video. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And there we go. The organizers have made the decision. So let us just run right through and see who are going to be in, well, which team, shall we? In Team Super Cat Gay, we have Charm Cookies, Jemmy, as well as Dabby Doo. In Team Wolfbane, with two Wolfbane. Teams, we have Psychedelic Dreamer, with two R's, Chicken is Love, and Scarlet Woo Woo. In Team. I like it that he emphasized two R's because Wolfbane with two E's. Mm -hmm. Team Arthas, we have LP Waffle Man, we have Lord Fairy as well as Smolly Olio. And finally in Team Suka's Blood, we have Guppy Fish, PS It's Tiff, as well as Umari. I'm very excited to see what all of these mentees will have got in store for us in the coming few months and of course what they will be able to learn from their fellow mentors. So make sure you guys join us for the next episode where we meet the four mentors. We'll explore what expectations both the mentors and mentees have got for one another. And with that all said and done, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much, Luigi. Great hosting. And thank you to all the sponsors. Dreaming, living. 
I like it. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed my reaction video. Subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! And I hope to see you in my next video. Subscribe. Alright, let's do the intro one more time. Hello from Singapore. I'm Hamjong Singaporeans. I'm just another average Singaporean and I sincerely wish to join season 4 of the Pathway Program, the residency. The streamer. The streamer residency program and uh, EXP camp, yeah, a lot of different names. Kind of get a bit complicated. Sorry. Hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe. Thank you.